Space is such a beautiful yet mysterious place. There are so many things to discover in space. With the latest images from the Hubble and now the James Webb Space Telescope, we get a better understanding of the objects in space. In this video, we take a look at something called the HOAGS object or a ring-shaped galaxy. Stay tuned! Before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. With that said, let's dive right into today's content. Galaxies are some of the most massive objects in the universe. There are different varieties of galaxies in the vastness of space. These various categories or types of galaxies make it easy for astronomers to classify them and conduct deeper research. Almost all galaxies in our universe are spiral, elliptical, or irregular in shape. However, a few oddballs fit into none of these categories and one galaxy stands alone. If you look closely at the Serpent constellation, also called the Serpent Caput, you'll find an unusual ring galaxy. It is named after Arthur Hoag, who discovered it in 1950 and identified it as either a planetary nebula or a peculiar galaxy. The galaxy has approximately 8 billion stars and is roughly 100,000 light years across. A nearly perfect ring of young hot blue stars circles the older yellow nucleus of this ring galaxy approximately 600 million light years away in the constellation Serpents. The diameter of the six arc second inner core of the galaxy is about 17 kilo light years, while the surrounding ring has an inner 28 inch diameter of 75 kilo light years and an outer 45 inch diameter of 121 kilo light years. The galaxy is also estimated to have a mass of 700 billion suns. By comparison, the Milky Way galaxy has an estimated diameter of 150 to 200 kilo light years and consists of between 100 and 500 billion stars and a mass between 800 billion and 1.54 trillion suns. Many of the galaxy's details remain mysterious, foremost of which is how it formed. So-called classic ring galaxies are generally formed by the collision of a small galaxy with a larger disk-shaped galaxy, producing a density wave in the disk that leads to a characteristic ring-like appearance. Such an event would have happened at least 2 to 3 billion years ago and may have resembled the processes that form polar ring galaxies. However, there is no sign of any second galaxy that would have acted as the bullet and the likely older core of Hoag's object has a very low velocity relative to the ring, making the typical formation hypothesis quite unlikely. Observations with one of the most sensitive telescopes have also failed to uncover any faint galaxy fragments that should be observable in a collision scenario. However, a team of scientists that analyzes the galaxy admits that, if the carnage happened more than 3 billion years ago, there might not be any detritus left to see. Noah Broch suggested that Hoag's object might be a product of an extreme bar instability that occurred a few billion years ago in a barred spiral galaxy. Others claim this is an unlikely hypothesis because the nucleus of the object is spheroidal, whereas the nucleus of a barred spiral galaxy is disc-shaped, among other reasons. However, they admit evidence is somewhat thin for this particular dispute to be settled satisfactorily. A few other galaxies share the primary characteristics of Hoag's object, including a bright detached ring of stars, but their centers are elongated or barred, and they may exhibit some spiral structure. While none match Hoag's object in symmetry, these galaxies are known to some as Hoag-type galaxies. The gap separating the two stellar populations may contain some star clusters that are almost too faint to see. Though ring galaxies are rare, another more distant ring galaxy, SDSS J1517, can be seen through Hoag's object, between the nucleus and the outer ring of the galaxy. Noah Broch and colleagues showed that the luminous ring lies at the inner edge of a much larger, neutral hydrogen ring. Now, the underlying question is how such a ring galaxy could have formed, and astronomers still don't have an answer to that. And it's unlikely ever find an answer unless we find another galaxy of its kind in the future. And this is entirely possible thanks to the exploits of the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA has released several images of far-flung galaxies as they were taken billions of years ago. The first glimpse from the most powerful telescope ever launched into space promises to reshape our understanding of the dawn of the universe. The small slice of the universe, called SMAX 0723, was the first to be captured in sharp detail by the JWST, showing that particular cluster as it was 4.6 billion years ago, as well as the light from many different twinkling galaxies which are among the oldest in the universe. Well, the James Webb Telescope has a lot more to uncover and we are certain that we'll learn a lot more about distant galaxies and mysterious objects such as the Ring Galaxy. Well, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. 
Thanks for watching.